Right, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh Bashami Havashai and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and honors to you brothers out there on the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And I just want to respond to this video, the name of Ahaya in the Bible, and just go through some of the points that they're making in here um, real quick. So what they basically do is they go into Exodus 3, 13 to 14, and try and say that the name Ahaya is the name of the Lord, right? But they, they um, omit the 15th verse as usual, all right? So that's one of the points they make from here. And then they go and find anywhere where I am is written in the Bible and suppose that that means that's, a, that's his name, which is an error. All right. Yeah, let's go I just want to get the points, the main points that I'm going to pass up. Hosea 2.16 and it says and it shall be at that day saith the Lord that thou shalt call me Ishi and shalt call me no more Bailey and it says here the word Bailey in Strong's it means Yahweh which I'm going to show you that's a lie Bailey does not mean Yahweh okay we all know Yahweh or Yahweh now hold on if Bailey means Yahweh these guys one of their arguments is that Yahweh was put in the Bible it, it didn't belong in there how can Bailey mean Yahweh? You also have this argument, Exodus 6 and 3. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of um, um, God Almighty. But by my name, Yahweh, was I not known to them. Now they're saying this is proof that Yahweh was inserted by the Maseretes to lead us astray from our true God, Ahiah. So they're saying the Maseretes put the name Yahweh in the Bible. Well, we're going to have a look at that. And you got Genesis 22 and 14. And Abraham called the name of the place Yahweh, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. Now, let's please use some common sense. Exodus 6 3 states Abraham didn't know the name Jehovah or Yahweh, where it is. Thousand percent, there is no way he said that name. Okay, well, we're going to find out. So we have to get understanding. And they also mention the Dead Sea Scrolls. Now, what you'll find is with the Dead Sea Scrolls, they're written mainly in the Assyrian Hebrew. But what you'll find is um, wherever the name of the Lord or a title referencing the name of the Lord is written in the Dead Sea Scrolls, they they substituted in the Paleo Hebrew, which is the Lashawan Kodash, because they wanted to reverence the name. Okay, and reverence the Mosai when he was being um, uh, referenced. All right, but they're saying here that it, it, it's there because it's fake, and they've they've put it in because it's a different writing style. No, it's a different script. They've put it in there on purpose to highlight the name in the holy tongue. But anyway, we're going so we're going to cover these points. So one thing you'll always notice is that whenever these guys do the videos they'll read exodus 3 13 3 and 13 and 14 but never read verse 15 so let's let's get into it exodus uh, 3 oh my god exodus, yeah, exodus 3 and 13 and it says and moses said unto the most high on oh god behold when i came unto the children of israel and shall say unto them the god of your fathers have sent me unto you and they shall say to me what is his name what shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou see now the Lord is describing himself. Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am have sent me unto you. Now they stop there, like that's it. Now my question is, is why didn't the Maseretes change this verse? If the Maseretes were changing everything. She is bullshit. The Lord's describing himself, but then the Lord breaks it down. And God said, Moreover. You see, but these guys don't want to add in the moreover. They want to stick to verse 14. You jump down to verse 15, which is all in the same conversation. The Lord's still speaking. 
The scripture says, interrupt not a man in his speech. How much say, more say the Most High? Let the Most High finish explaining what he's saying. And then you're going to get the full understanding. And God said, more over. Yeah? What does the word more over mean? You know, that's probably old English terminology. Let's just let's, let's see what more over means. Because these guys want to... The further matter. <laughs> yeah? The further more. Furthermore. In addition, additionally, over and above. Yeah, so you have to add this in. You can't um, omit it. Yeah, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel. This is what he told Moses to say. The Lord, which is Yahweh, okay, God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob have sent me unto you. This is my name forever. And this is my memorial unto all generations. So the name Yahweh is... The, the father's more memorial unto all generations, man. All right. Mm -hmm. He's wicked ass women, man. All right. Uh, let's look up the word Lord just to show you one thing that the name, the name Yahweh, man. Come on, it's undisputed in the scriptures. Look at this. I think over six thousand, six thousand five hundred and nineteen times recorded in the scriptures, man. Sit down, mate. All right, you're going off. Now, we've done dealt with that. And let's deal with Exodus, uh, the sixth chapter, all right? Let's get some understanding. Now, again, they bring out verse three. But they didn't bring out verse two. What does verse two say? Exodus six and two. I And God spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am Yahweh. So in verse 2, the Lord makes it clear what his name is. He said, I am Yahweh. But they're trying to say verse 3 is backing up their claim that Yahweh is not his name. Come on, that's retarded, man. He said about common sense, come on. And I appeared unto Abraham and unto Isaac and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty. Right? That was one of the titles of the, one of the titles of the Lord is God Almighty. But by my name, Yahweh, was I not known to them. Now, check this out. See, you think it means no as in, uh, you didn't know at all. No, it means to distinguish. In this particular scripture, you have to get the, the, the understanding. What does it mean by to know? You go down here, it means to discriminate, to distinguish, to perceive, to discern, to recognize, admit, acknowledge. They didn't acknowledge that name, didn't distinguish that name as being the chief name of the Most High. They knew the name and they used the name, but they also used other names. But this name is special. This is his actual name, right? And now through Moses, we know this, all right? That's why Abraham used the name. He said, oh, hey, how did Abraham use it? Abraham used the name because he knew of the name. But he didn't know that that was the Lord's actual chief name. But they did use that name. All right, Genesis, the 22nd chapter. Uh, and Abraham called the name of that place. Um, it says here, Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, in the Mount of Yahweh, it shall be seen. And you go to the, 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 the Hebrew. It's Yahweh. Yeah, yeah, uh, ah, okay. So they did know of the name, they've been calling on that name from since before the flood. It's just they didn't distinguish that name from other titles that the Lord had. All right, you go into the, the book of Genesis, it tells you that men began to call upon the name of Yahweh. All right, now let's deal with um, Hosea. The stupid ass argument they tried to what was it? Hold this two and twelve was it? The stupid ass ignorant argument. And you know, brother, you know, you 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 better repent, man. You better take that video down and repent. Otherwise the law's gonna do something dirty to you. You know, this isn't this isn't personal, this is business, man. This is the father's business. And um you going off. Alright, you are in error. Alright, Hosea two uh, where was it? it must not have been 16 wasn't it yeah 2 and 16 and it shall come to part shall, shall be at that day says the Lord that thou shalt not call me Ishi oh, sorry and that thou shalt call me Ishi which means husband in this particular scripture 
is talking about husband. And shall call me no more Bayali, which means master. Alright. Now, let's go into the interlinear and prove that. So we're going to call the Lord Ishi. Now, is Ishi his name? No. You go down there, it means... It's a, it's another, it can be broken down as husband. All right, you see there? It's translated 69 times as husband. All right. So we're going to call, call him Ishi and shall call me no more Bayali. Now they said Bayali means Yahweh. That's retarded. How come Bayali means Yahweh? Bayali means master. Okay. All right, master or, or my lord. All right. Bayali, which is the actual Hebrew word. Bayal is not an evil word. Bayal just means my lord. It's Bayal, the actual word Bayal means uh, um, lord. All right. It's another Hebrew word for lord or master. All right. You see here, master. Sometimes it's um, a husband because a husband is a master. All right, but they, back then they were calling on on a false god named Baal. So I said, "You gonna you gonna call me no more Baali, okay? You gonna call me Ishi? Because the Lord's gonna take the names of Balaam out of their mouth. All right. So Baal or Baali doesn't mean Yahweh, but what it does say in the thing is. That um, my master, Bali, a, a symbolic name for Yahweh. It says symbolic, meaning symbolically you can apply um, this to the Lord because he is our master, so to speak. All right? But it doesn't mean that Bayali means Yahweh. And so you lied, my man. You lied. All right, you lied. So let's read it again. It shall be at that day, says the Lord, thou shalt call me Ishi, which represents what man, husband. All right, and shalt no more call no more Bayali, which is like master, Lord. Right, We're using this particular Hebrew word, we wouldn't be using this word anymore. All right, see, you guys are clowns, man. Now, what was the other thing that I needed to bring out? Uh, okay, because they were mentioning about the Maseretis. Uh, have I still got them up? Uh, okay. Uh, I need to get up the Tetragrammaton. I'm just going to show you that the Maseretis is not the oldest script. The Dead Sea Scrolls is older than the Maseretis. Alright. Yeah. In fact, hold on. Yeah, this is the page I wanted to write Bible manuscript. So you're going to see here that you got older scripts than the, um, than the, the Maseretis, you got the Dead Sea Scrolls, this is older, all right, way older than the Masoretic text. So the you're trying to say the Masoretis put the name Yahweh in the Bible. The name Yahweh is in the Dead Sea Scrolls, okay, and it's specialized in the Dead Sea Scrolls, which I'm going to show you. Dead Sea Scrolls in the Dead Sea Scrolls and other Hebrew Aramaic texts, the Tetragrammaton and some other names of God in Judaism were sometimes written in Paleo Hebrew script. Showing that they were treated specially. Alright, ain't because it was fake, okay? You're being fake. Alright. Now, let me get this up um, in the history. The oldest reference to the actual name of the Lord is not even found in the Bible. It's in the Mishé Steli. Uh, because most of the old manuscripts that go back this far weren't written in stone. They, you know, they were um, on parchment, which is obviously degraded and fallen apart by now. That's why they had to keep making copies. The oldest known inscription of the Tetragrammaton dates to 840 BCE on the Mishé Steli. It bears the earliest certain extra-biblical reference to the Israelite god Yahweh. 
the most recent discovery of the Tetragrammaton inscription dating to the 6th century BCE was found written in Hebrew on two silver scrolls recovered from Jerusalem. So what are you talking about, man? Did the Masoretes do that too? These, these, these people are taking the piss, mate. All right, you are taking the absolute piss. Oh, I forgot to even mention. Let me go back to the name of the Lord being around. And let's, let's get the account of Judah. Because um, Judah... Um, you got um, Genesis uh, 29 and 35. It's Leah. And she conceived again and bare a son. And she said, Now will I praise the Lord. Therefore, she called his name Judah and left Baron. Now, the name Judah is basically the name of the Lord and the word praise put together. All right. So, yeah. got Judah there. The name of Judah is Yahweh Da. Okay. And that means basically the most high praise. All right, when you go, the name goes back to Yada, which means to give thanks to Lord. Okay, but the name is Yahawa Da. Okay, Yahawa Da. You see that? Let's get it. Yahawa. So praise the most high. Alright. That's 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 the name of Judah. So the, the most high's name is in the name of Judah. Alright. See if there's any more on this. So you know that, that's the point. This is these guys, man. Listen, if you don't take that video down and um correct your doctrine, man, you're gonna be destroyed. That's that's the the bottom line. Okay, we got to exalt the name of the Lord. We got to do all things in the name of the Lord in order for it to be established in righteousness. Okay, and the name of the Lord is Yahweh. And um, the name of the Son, which is the mediator, all right, is Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai is going to glorify his, his um, Father, man. And we should glorify Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man, and glorify those names. All right, point blank, period. So you, you putting out this video right here, man, that's nothing but blasphemy. Um, that's an abomination. And um, Yahweh Hashem Yahshua is going to destroy you if you don't repent. Alright, hopefully I've covered all the points they made in this video. Uh, so with that, I'm going to say Shalom.